I'm Ray Parisi with CNBC. We're down in Delray Beach, Florida, checking out one of the most expensive homes for sale on the market right now. This place is 21,000 square feet. It's got seven bedrooms, 14 baths, and out back, there's a 250,000 gallon mega pool. Cue the drone shots. This is the Rocky Brook Estate. It's about 50 miles north of Miami, 20 miles south of Palm Beach, sitting on 2.7 acres. A lot of that is covered by the resort-sized pool in the backyard and a cool blue tennis court. Inside, over 40 rooms. Price tag, $22 million. And guys, I brought $1,000 with me. I'm gonna show you exactly what 10 Benjamins will buy you inside this house. This is like being a rock star running on top of a concert stage and then you're met by these insanely large doors. Average front door is around three feet wide by seven feet tall. These are 16 feet tall and you could literally drive a car through here. Here we go. Whoa. Holy mackerel. Hi Ray, welcome to Rocky Brook. Wow, I'm gonna put on my mask. That up there, 30, something feet above us is Sonata Ajim. She is the listing agent for this place. The owners hired her to sell Rocky Brook for $22 million. And um, Sonata, this is a great way to show how voluminous this space is. <laughs> it's very grand it and is... I'm glad you made a grand entrance. This is crazy. So I've seen this and toured the place with Sonata on FaceTime, which you can see a video of that in the details below the YouTube. Um, this is the first time I've been in the place for real, and it's way bigger when you're here in real life. Now we're once again 30-something feet apart doing a socially distanced interview. <laughs> Interestingly, you can't tell from uh, the space that we're in how tall Sonata is. She probably looks a little bit on the short side. <laughs> but she is in those heels, you're like six feet? Definitely six feet. So the fancy railings were inspired by the Mondrian in South Beach, which was originally designed by Marcel Wonders. So it's a custom railing with very grand kind of feel. So Wow. This design is super cool. You said that it was like... It's like hugging. It's an open arm staircase. Here we go, <laughs> hugging the staircase. Sonata and I can't hug, and we're going to remain socially distanced for this interview. Can you tell me anything about these insane chandeliers? Yeah, so the client wanted to create a grand sense of arrival and a very epic kind of feel when you walk in. So these are shown back chandeliers, obviously done with Swarovski crystals and you have several globes of differing heights and sizes so it plays off the light both natural and, and this is a lighting. tacky question how much the large globes are in excess of ten thousand dollars each the smaller ones about eight thousand dollars so if you do the simple math here, this is around $125,000. That is correct. And then of course for balance and design, there is a similar chandelier in the great room, which we'll see later, but they're very expensive and very glamorous chandeliers. We had a chance to talk to the designer um, who put this stuff in, and he said in order to figure out exactly how the layout was gonna go, they got helium balloons on strings, they tied them to the floors, and they floated them up. They were all in different sizes, and they created a constellation like this with the helium balloons, determined what they would need, and then they went out and bought all of these individual chandeliers to then recreate what they had in helium. This is like, by the end of this video, I will be thinner and more ripped. <laughs> you will have made probably 20,000 steps for each square foot of this property. All right, let's keep this moving. There's a lot of house to see. A lot of house to see, and this is the great room. This is the really, really, really great, amazing room. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, you just don't get used to this ceiling thing. It's like you just feel it every second that you're in this area because it's so big. The scale is extraordinary, and you have a lot of balance and a lot of architecture and design as it relates to space. So I know what you're looking at, Ray. This is crazy. You're almost looking at yourself, right? Yeah, there's like mirrors in here. 
So this is a marble 32 foot wall with stainless steel Baroque arabesque laser cut into the marble. Baroque arabesque, that's, uh, that means expensive. <laughs> when you look at this closely, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's marble precisely laser cut and then they got this stainless steel that's precisely laser cut and they bring it together like a puzzle. And the stainless steel is so polished that it looks like mirror. And then you have this like this little touch, 32 feet of blue velvet. And you match just perfectly. Oh my God, I do. don't disappear. I don't think there's any blue velvet left in Florida right nope. now. It's all here. <laughs> you know what else I match? Yes. You perfectly the match this whole great room. And uh, I recognize these chandelier from the this earlier one. This is exactly, you saw a very similar piece at the grand arrival and this is also shown back and perfectly balanced. So for those of you doing math, $125,000 in the front entry, 125 grand here, we've already seen a quarter of a million bucks in lighting. And there is much more. I wanna show you the office, Ray. It's really beautiful. They call it his office, but I like to refer to it as her office, being the boss lady. <laughs> I'm cool with that, you're the boss. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. The materials are extraordinary. Uh, this looks like glowing rock. It's glowing semi-precious stone. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you know what's funny? We didn't even reference this. I'll be right that's back. That's a two-sided fireplace, and I'm glad we're gonna play peekaboo, I guess. Two-sided fireplace, it's like two for the price of one. <laughs> we call this the peekaboo fireplace. It's really cool. You have the privacy that you want to have being in your office and at the same time gives you a little bit of a sneak peek of what's in the great room. So I heard that there is a secret passageway in here. There is, so... You pull on the deer to open it. <laughs> Leave Bambi alone, please. Uh, but you do have to find it because the cool thing about this office is not just the sheer size and cool vibe in here, there is a secret. So try this way. I know you, you like to touch everything, so um, keep going. It's not a really great secret because it looks like it's here. Well, I left it for you so that you can actually find it, Ray. Whoa, secret room. It's a secret cigar room. Secret cigar room? Yes. Interesting, so there's probably a really significant air system in here. Yes, special ventilation. To suck out the fumes. Correct. And of can, cigars. Of cigars. And you can actually use this as a conference area as well. Has beautiful views. So Sonata, on the way to the kitchen, let's talk numbers. Okay. How much is it? It's $22 million for just over 21,000 square feet. So that is around $1,000 a square foot. All right. Which looks something like this. I love it that you brought the Benjamins. <laughs> um, and interestingly, 10 Benjamins are about a square foot. So this house is $1,000 a square foot. That is correct. If you wanted to buy this house, you would need enough Benjamins to cover this entire floor, every square inch of it, with hundreds. And upstairs. And please don't forget this open arm staircase. Because if they didn't do that, they would be a little shy. <laughs> um, the average home in America is around uh, 120 bucks a square foot, right around there. And interestingly, Sonata's commission on one square foot would be something like, <laughs> this, is an, this is an approximation. <laughs> I actually don't really know what her deal is, but it would probably look like this per square foot. Is that about right? That's about right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how many Benjamins it would take to buy this house. And when you think about like, literally everywhere we step, would be covered in cash. It would need to be covered in cash. Thankfully, there are some great banks out there and they wire money, so you don't have to come carrying cash anymore. <laughs> That's helpful. That's definitely helpful. <laughs> but do people usually pay cash for a house like this? Of course they pay cash, um, which they wire, by the way. 
but uh, these are all no. cash buyers, but it's very rare to have and, someone finance um, it. No mortgages? No mortgages. Wow, even with the rates as low as they are now? Occasionally, people will say the money is so inexpensive, let me you know, get a mortgage 50% or so, but. Yeah, at two and a half percent, it's worth borrowing some cash and leaving uh, the other 10 million in the market and making some cash off of that. Exactly. Anyway, we talked a lot of money and uh, I have to go put this back in my bank because my <laughs> rent check's gonna bounce. <laughs> Let's go see the rest of this I place. The kitchen. So Ray, I wanna show you the kitchen, which Great. I know you will love. I'm Italian, I love a kitchen. Of course. The only thing I like more than a kitchen is vino. <laughs> and this is a very special wine cellar and I'm excited to show it to you. Wow, that looks super cool. Super cool, it's made of acrylic and stainless steel, so it looks as if your vino bottles are floating in midair. And what question did you have? How many bottles of wine in the cellar? <sighs> I think it's way more than you can ever drink, actually. I'm not so sure about that. Ray, let's go take a look at the kitchen. I'm ready. So the home of this magnitude actually has a family kitchen. On Holy this side. cow. <laughs> not one island, but two islands. Yes, and the seating for six. Big enough for your big Italian family. I mean, seating for six, there's seating for like, I could get like 40 Italians in here. You can cook too. This is crazy. It's like, there's a Sub-Zero here and there's a Sub-Zero there. There's a double hung Wolf ovens here and a pair second to that here. And then there's more Wolf ovens here. And uh, there's also two sinks. And all of the marble from my country is on these right countertops. Right here, absolutely. And- um, Whatever's left of it. This is cool, Sonata. This backsplash? Uh, it's a backsplash, um, which is really semi-precious stone with volcanic ash in between, so it gives it this really fabulous organic kind of texture and feel. Wow, so the grout is organic ash. And then I love when people have something that they like, typically, you know, you do a backsplash that's like 18 inches. They were like, send it to the ceiling. <laughs> of course, and frame that fabulous view of the koi pond. That's how it goes. And the funny thing about a kitchen like this is this is sort of a showroom kitchen where you would entertain guests and this would always be super duper clean. There's actually a different kitchen where the private chef does all the work. Let's go see that. All right, so this is where the private chef would be cooking so that that other glamorous kitchen is always pristine and beautiful for people who are milling around watching TV or just chilling out at that one of the islands having drinks. This is where all the cooking and all that Smoke would go up here and your pristine showroom kitchen is always pristine. So Ray, regardless of whether you're gonna cook or your chef, um, this is actually where you're going to entertain. This is a nice dining room. <laughs> very, very nice dining room. Your guests are gonna be very impressed. Table for 14, please. Yep. What is on the ceiling? Uh, that is mother of pearl inlay. You have got to be kidding me. I am not kidding you. <laughs> Mouth is wide open. You can't see it, but it's, it is. It's beautifully lit up. They covered the ceiling in mother of pearl? Yes, they did. And they also mirrored it on this beautiful dining table so you can see the iridescent shimmering light. And these chandeliers are very cool. These are fabulous. This is uh, Nicholas Tertani. And it's made of tiny, tiny chains. They feel like fine jewelry necklaces. That's the whole idea, actually. Lighting and chandeliers are the jewelry for the home. You ready for my tacky question? How much? <laughs> How much? Um, they're approximately $36,000 each. Whoa, maybe I should not be touching that. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> um, that's a lot of chains in there. They're How beautifully intertwined, as you can see, to have this layering effect. What if we strung it out? How long do you think it would be? Miles. Miles. Yes. That's why it's 36 grand each. $72,000 in light fixtures. Never mind, I'm, those sconces are also little chains. Of course, look how pretty this is. And then you have glowing rock behind you. Uh, this is semi precious stone. It's agate, which is backlit. She hates when I say glowing rock. She always fixes it and says it's actually semi precious stone. Of course. <laughs> Sorry. Now of the kitchen, you have the breakfast room. Wow. This 
is a great space for breakfast. Isn't it? Lunch and dinner too. Sun drenched and check that out. Another Swarovski crystal chandelier. Wow. I love this place. Next stop is the club room, right? So this is just a little area to chill and lounge while while you're cooking your while Italian di dinner. While dinner is not being made in this kitchen <laughs> because it's being made in the chef's kitchen. This is where the family spends time. And then please take a look. The club room is so grand. Wow. So entertaining. This is a great space. This is literally like the club. It is the club. And is this for heating up like hot sandwiches? No, right. That is actually where the billiards table is going to go. Tell me you press a button and a billiards table rises up out of the floor. No, it's on the way from Italy. Oh, that would have been cool. <laughs> that would have been very cool. If you can imagine, there's a billiards table here. <laughs> um, and whoa, another crazy chandelier. This is uh, Chihuly. Chihuly. It's one of a kind with purple. Um, glass pieces. I don't know chandeliers, but that is definitely another expensive thing. And this is, uh, we're in the club room, so that's like a card table. Yes, card table overlooking the koi pond. Wow, that's a beautiful space outside. And everybody's favorite part of the club? The bar. The bar. <laughs> I am behind the bar. I like you being there because... The drinks are free. Yes, exactly. Uh, can I have a glass of wine, please? You're really testing my bartending skills. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is that same um, gorgeous rock with the volcanic ash grout. Yes. And then I love that the homeowner was like, so we're going to need 18 pendants to hang over the bar in every finish of sort of glass metal. So super nice touch. And so is the glowing precious Agate. stone. Semi-precious stone. Semi-precious stone. Looks precious to me. It's very it's precious, right? <laughs> We're leaving the club. We're going to the movies. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually a really cool entry foyer into the movie theater. There's another custom piece by Chihuly that you see. And this is where you would put your refreshments, your popcorn, and yes, you can use that door, right? I'll take this. There's one. two doors into the theater. Wow. Come on in. Whoa, check this out. Great Gatsby inspired. This is amazing. Isn't it cool? This is like first class movie watching. It is. A little Hermes next to you. Italian gray leather on all of the seats. They recline, so if you want to try that out. Oh my God. This is actually better than a first class flight. <laughs> this is your own private movie theater. Wow, this is amazing. Don't you love the Hollywood glam? It's so yeah. unique. It's very uh, kind of retro Hollywood. That's the whole point. And this is another situation where the camera doesn't do it justice because you can't touch stuff. But I can tell you, everything feels expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. So you have backlighting for ambiance and then you have all of the speakers intertwined and perfectly integrated into the design of the theater. So what she means is that, and I, I know this because when I touch it, I can feel them. The speakers are hidden behind all of this really soft black trim. Every once in a while, I feel a very large speaker. And it's the same thing here. These are all, the surround sound yep. is literally integrated into the design yep. all over the place in here, which is wild. Ready for your movie? Yeah. <laughs> or ready for CNBC. Yeah, you really wanna watch some CNBC in this space. <laughs> All right, now we're taking it to the next level. Yes, we want to see the upstairs. Upstairs, the uh, owner's bedrooms, kids' bedrooms. And the princess room, the bowling alley. And another trip up these steps. This is hard on me and she's doing it in four inch heels. Wow, the scale up here is incredible. It's made to impress, right? Whew. It's uh, 
I have a little bit of a fear of heights when I'm up here. <laughs> it actually feels like more than 32 feet. I know, it does. And it's, it's slightly scary to look down here at Blake on the camera all the way down there. <laughs> but the idea is every time you're up here, you have those magnificent views of the resort style pool. And uh, can you see the ceiling is doing a little uh, disco party scene right now. I did that especially for you. Nice. All right, let's go check out some bedrooms. Okay, let's start with the princess room first. These arches are very cool. Very cool and very fabulous. And check this out. Lights on the walls. It's designed to have a art piece to go over it. This is like a, a constellation art installation? Exactly. And once again, you want to touch stuff when you're in a very this expensive house like this. This is silk wallpaper. This is silk. Yep. That's nice. And come take a look here. Whoa, is this the owner's suite? No, this is not. This is for one lucky princess. This is one of the kids' rooms? That is it. <laughs> wow. And she wants her stone top on the makeup table to match her rugs, of course. Of course, of course. If it's pink, then you have to go all pink. And you always got to look up in this house because the, the ceiling in here is really interesting. The ceiling too. detail is just really special and the chandelier is very special. It's that looks like the crown for the princess that sleeps in here. And this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom that goes with the princess room. So matching lighting, beautiful backsplash, also mother of pearl. Wow, they used a lot of mother of pearl and a lot of marble in this house. Yes. And this is what life for the 12 year old girl who will live here is gonna be like. It's the dream life. <laughs> I would like to know if the people who buy this place would be interested in adopting me. <laughs> I will offer that. I will mention that Ray Parisi comes with the home. <laughs> yeah, that is gonna drop the value of this house like a rock. <laughs> so the princess room is actually part of the children's wing, which also has a lounge and a bowling alley. And we're walking by a kitchenette too. Of the course. children's wing. <laughs> That's how I grew up. <laughs> I'm sure you did. So this whole wing houses three bedrooms with right. ensuite bathrooms and that's just for the kids. So lots of space for the kids to study, to lounge, to enjoy. The kids have major bedrooms, very nice bathrooms, and also walk-in closets. Of course. And they have a two-lane bowling alley. <laughs> Owner suite. Wow, this is glam. It's glam all the way. It's very retro glamour with modern classic design. Uh, there is a midnight bar here, his bar. We'll see that in a second. Yeah. And then owner's suite. And owner's suite and uh, dance floor apparently. This space <laughs> is huge. I know. And it's... a horny lamp chandelier thing. <laughs> Horns not included. Um, this is crazy. This is the largest headboard I've ever seen. It's very pretty. It's uh, iridescent leather. Iridescent was... leather? Yeah. So it's kind of like if mother of pearl and leather were squeezed together, it would be this? <laughs> yes, it would have this beautiful sheen to it. This is crazy. Um, I, I can't even imagine what is going to be through here. And because the home is so big, when you need to take a break after you wake up, before you go get dressed. Because it's so far away from the bed to the <laughs> bathroom so that you would have seats here to take a break. Wow, this, this is, is crazy. It's crazy, crazy. crazy. <laughs> this is a bathroom? This is only her bathroom. His, this is her bath? This is her bath. He can't come in here? Nope. Well, maybe for the romantic nights with the fireplace and the jacuzzi. Oh my God, jacuzzi center stage <laughs> with like dripping crystals coming down on you and a romantic fireplace. With amethyst and also semi-precious stone. Ray, look how pretty this is. It's that purple is nice. and black. And these floors are insane. There's like these crazy inlays with tiny, tiny tiles and they laser cut the marble and then put it all back together to create this insane design. It's really pretty. Yeah. So the next comes the bag display area. The bag display area. Yes, indeed. The mouth's open again. <laughs> Take a look. 
So this is where you put some of your fabulous bags. Wow. That is nuts. This room is just for handbags. Exactly, and this room, obviously, is a shopping mall. Is a shopping boutique. <laughs> this is a closet. This is a closet. This is a closet. This is designed to look like a boutique, so you can put your sunglasses, your jewelry, and the top drawer. Um, lots of Swarovski here. Purple is that, leather. Is that? This is leather. Yes. Pull on that. That feels good, right? Yeah. Soft clothes. Wow. It's how it should be. More crystals dripping from the ceiling and so much space for clothes. It's crazy. And this is again just her space. Correct. None of his stuff is here. And if I had to guess, I would say that his closet is going to be half the size of this. <laughs> if. <laughs> and she's happy about that. <laughs> of course. So right, I want to show you his bath. This is his bath. Can I do the honors here? Please. All right, here we go. This better be good because we just saw a really impressive her bath, so. You'll be impressed, nevertheless. Oh, it is, it's very nice. It's not as nice as hers, but it is very nice. I am impressed. This is very masculine and has a lot of natural light. And of course, I know, I've know i noticed you like the marble. I mean, it's just crazy because everything that you look at has been laser cut and then reassembled into this puzzle thing. And, they, and I, that is not cheap. No. Uh, the material's not cheap. And then what they did to it and then how they reassembled it is, that's a crazy amount of money on this little thing. Absolutely. Here. Craftsmanship, as you can see, is extraordinary. And then if we, Spin around here and go this way. His shower. You His go by shower. yourself. I'll wait for you here. <laughs> so this is his shower, which is pretty impressive. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then about, there's 10, and it's about 12 feet up. By the time you turn on the water and feel it hit your head, there would be like a minute would pass. <laughs> this is incredible. There is literally no more marble left in Italy. <laughs> when you're done in the shower, I want to show you his closet. Not too shabby. I know you said it's possibly half the size of hers. This is a great closet. Very cool. As I predicted, it is way smaller than hers, but this is a great closet. Also leather on all the drawers, soft closing drawers, wow. which you love. Wow, ooh, yeah, that, that is cool. I mean, when you leather upholster the face of your drawers and then backlight your sneakers and shoes. You know you've made it, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is bigger than uh, my first apartment in New York City for sure, and is rivaling my current apartment in size. <laughs> Oh my God. I can't even believe this is someone's backyard. This is what a resort style pool looks like, right? Yeah, uh, a five star resort. <laughs> Maybe a six star. This is crazy. There's like fires going on, waterfalls. I don't know, like when you're back here, you can hear the sound of water everywhere. It's super duper like relaxing. And then you can actually feel the warmth of these fires. Which is also very special. It was designed and inspired actually by the um, Wind Resort Las Vegas. And the pool temperature is perfect. <laughs> Ready? Um, how do you get into this? I don't know, give it a shot. Is this a slide or a chair? <laughs> no, that's a chair that can actually float away, so. For real? Yes. Wow, this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> you look really good there. You look very relaxed. Uh, well, I finally got to take the mask off. I can breathe again. <laughs> you can breathe. There are 250,000 gallons of water. 250,000 gallons. That is a lot of water. That is a lot of water. I know that the average size of a pool in America is around 20,000 gallons. So there is around 12 times the amount of water in this pool than your average everyday pool. Uh, so and this is in no way average or everyday at all. <laughs> this is truly one of a kind. Let's explore the resort. 
<laughs> I am dressed for a one-star resort in my flip-flops, and she is dressed in a five-star resort wearing the spiked leopard Louboutin. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Isn't this amazing? This, imagine waking up and this was your backyard. It's, it's truly epic. First, you would have to wake up with $20 million. Exactly. This is a super cool perspective because it's like having a house on the ocean. Yeah. This pool is literally the size of the ocean. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what do you call this area? Uh, this is the gazebo rotunda. This is the fanciest gazebo I have ever seen. It also feels like being at center stage here. Yes, exactly. So if you want to bring an A-list celebrity and have them perform, this is the spot. If I was gonna spend that thousand dollars in cash uh -huh. and buy one square foot, I would buy it right here. Then <laughs> well, I could you have may want to do it in the water because you can actually take a seat. Please don't fall in. Uh, you can have your drink. That's the table, and you can roast some marshmallows. Do you do you see this? I don't know if you can tell on the table that on camera. This is like the table, and you'd put your feet under there and just chill out here and look at your crazy, beautiful, expensive house. So Sonata, what was the most expensive home to sell in Delray Beach last year? It was $17 million home immediately next door to this. And who sold it? Of course, I mean, you're looking at her. So you broke the record <laughs> last year? I did. Do you think this house breaks the record this year? Absolutely, it's the largest, most amazing home in this whole area, so. Um, and there's something interesting about the next door neighbor or the former next door neighbor. Yes. They uh, were related? They were related. It was two brothers and their respective families who built these two magnificent homes. Uh, one brother sold and then uh, the other brother with his family selling as well. And interestingly, uh, Sonata toured that other house with CNBC, and we'll put a link in the details below this video so you can click on that and check out what the brother's place looked like. Yep. And you could also see Sonata with a very different hairdo. Yay! Um, and some crazy high heels touring a mansion there as well. <laughs> this is insane. I love it. I mean, it's one of the best. Did you bring your checkbook? No. I bought a thousand dollars, so all I'm going home with is one square foot. That's it. I will need an easement to get to it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came, Ray. Thank you so much for the tour. Mind blown. <laughs> Yay. Hey guys, don't leave yet. I have a big update. A few days after our tour, the Rocky Brook Estate sold. It was an all cash deal, $19 million. And Sonata was right. She smashed her old record. Don't forget, please give the video a like. We'd also love to hear what you think about the house. So let us know in the comments below.